PS2. Yeah, I think this is this is definitely good. Uh, you know. Oh no, it's oh, small, small battlefield. battlefield. Yep. Okay. Or, Gentlemen in here. Right. Start this match. Let's see. Crack shoot the move that does it all. What a creep move. Yeah, crack shoot. I feel like definitely gonna be huge in this matchup because not only is it just such a good like burst option that catches right in front of you and above. I I'm pretty sure it goes like just directly above gyro on the ground. Wow, just perfectly spacing. And not to mention, it doesn't have that much lag, just like most of Terry's buttons, but I feel like that'll help since Rob can, you know, he's, his burst options are pretty fast, but not as fast as Terry Terry's. Yep. I, but, I mean, once Dill is able to get the momentum in her favor, I feel like, you know, it could be pretty difficult for BB just because, you know, Rob is able to set up that wall, but instead Vivi finding that down tilt conversion into the the, 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 the true rising, rising tackle. tackle. Yeah, that, that conversion is great, especially on Rob since he's huge. Ooh. I feel like so many of Terry's combos are going to just do so much. 50% right off the bat. Yeah, Dill. catching the top of Rob's head there with the down air. Okay, great laser, though. Up close, that laser does like 30%. Mm -hmm. So just a meaty chunk of damage. Yeah, it gets that like burn be. hitbox. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very satisfying, but not, not for the other player. <laughs> Trying to catch these jumps, but I'm even... Air into down air. Wow. I think Dill thought she was covered, but... Terry can just down it, full hop down here, and then just come down with the nair and catch you again. Crazy. I love the way that Vivi set up Dill on the platform there after the down tilt instead of trying to go out of into like a, just a rising tackle normally. Oh, bad DI on the up air, but at, at this point, Dill's gonna need to play very pristine to Ooh. work around Terry's buttons and like hit um, da Terry's damage output. Yeah, the bounce of the gyro actually put Vivi in a lot more like hit stop for the gyro. I think they hit like every hit of crack shoot on the gyro. <laughs> Just stalling a little bit. Maybe yeah. waiting for a possible nair forward air, but yeah. Vivi's not going to give it to Dill. Yeah. I mean, you got to be careful though because Ooh, that you know, was so you close. Could start to run out of gas. True. Just calling out the stall with just an up B. Yeah, I oh. mean, like, Vivi definitely has the stocks to play oh, with. Did he lose his. Vivi lost yeah, his jump? Vivi. And Okay, this is suddenly possible. It's not completely out of the realm of possibility. I think Dill's just gotta have to find another like edge guard like that, steal the jump, and that's how she she's gonna take this game. Oh, uh oh, but Rob is Rob. Rob, Rob is Rob. Yeah, recognizing okay. that they weren't in position for the side beat to connect, and a jab jab rising tackle gonna be taking it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think after uh, t after Dill like went for that forward smash, trying to call out like the fast fall air dodge. I think. Yeah, um, Dill started like spot dodging and kind of like rolling and panicking a little bit, and VB was gonna mm -hmm. immediately see that and yeah. quickly jab up you. But that was still a very close game despite like the beginning three stock to one stock deficit we saw. Yeah, Dill was really able to start cleaning up those stocks, and especially that last stock was very close to Dill taking game one. Mm -hmm. We saw that if that gyro um, conversion like completed and you know she got Terry off stage with a side B, it would have been over. Yeah. For sure. Would've yeah, Vivi just barely had the the good DI to to make it out of that side B setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, even with good DI at that percent, I don't know if Terry would have survived. It's mm -hmm. pretty high. Alright, and it does look like Battlefield is gonna be Dill's counter pick of choice, which I absolutely agree with. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. feels like just not a good Terry stage. <laughs> Dill is going to have all the room in the world to jump around on those platforms. You know, Rob gets... I feel like Rob just gets so much more out of, like, platform extensions mm -hmm. than Terry does. Especially since you could just up tilt, up air, or up tilt wait, and then grab them and get, a, like, a potential up air near, the, like, a top platform. That's so scary and will kill Vivi so early if uh, he's not careful. Yep. So far, okay, uh, offstage situation real quick, let's try. I think Dill's got to watch out for these falling nairs into down nairs because that can really kill Rob early. Absolutely. All right, just trying to take some space for herself and just start to throw out the gyro from beneath these battlefield platforms. Okay. All right, I like the spacing on the forward air right yeah. there. Good way on VV's air dodge. Uh, uh, I think Dill knew it was coming, so he, he waited and got that second forward air. Those small things really count and will add damage. No jump. And yeah, now Vivi kind of trapped on these the top platform. Yeah. Really kind of a double-edged sword because, like, it's so inviting that you want to land on the top platform to get out of, like, tumble or something. Mm -hmm. But Dill's going to be ready 
With, waiting. Yeah. You're jumping into her loving arms of the up air. Uh -huh, that up air, and it once. Oh, wow. I, I feel like he might have directional air dodge, and that could have killed him earlier because that definitely. I oh, feel like it shouldn't have killed. no. And so unfortunate for Dill. <laughs> BB fell out of the side, the B. side B because they got clipped on the ledge of mm. Battlefield, and that means BB. Gets to play with the uh, the go meter now. More Smash Ultimate Jank, I feel. P uh, characters just falling out of multi hits. Kind of quick on that up bust a wolf. smash, and that's he, gonna be taking she's it. Going to pay for it. I feel like there was no reason to immediately up smash it. That's how Terry got that conversion off. This go meter is doing him wonders right now. Okay. All right. Wow. Great, Great delay stall. mash by BB, and Great no stall. rage on Dill means BB's gonna be living a little bit longer. I think out of a jump now. Oh, what wow. a recovery! Great recovery by BB. This stock was truly the MVP of this. Yeah. Game. <laughs> Is going to be the MVP of this game. 182 should be dead. That being said, though, we've seen how Dill plays in the one stock to three situations you know, just in game one. Yeah. So we, we're gonna see if Dill can bring this back to even stocks. We can see she's running around with Gyro in yeah. hand. VV trying to play it safe, doesn't want to commit to anything too early and, you know, catch a zero to death for their troubles. Players being patient, yeah, I feel like it's very important right now for Dill to be patient. And, and, and VV, like, rushing in will just lead to the same thing as game one happening. Uh, getting thrown off stage, losing the stock fast. So VV definitely shouldn't put the gas on the brakes yet. Like, both these players are still kind of feeling each other out and not completely sure about, you know. They're just giving each other space and respect. Yep. See, as soon as the gyro was out of play, VB came in with that crack shoot to try and put a little bit more wow. damage on the board. Straight up bullying Rob going through the gyro, just crack shooting right in front of his face. Interesting F smash. I don't think he meant to do that. Getting, yeah, just getting a little bit too saucy there at the ledge, trying to yep. find maybe scary Dill situation. Coming up a little early. Scary situation. Once again, going right through the gyro with the crack shoot and just a burn knuckle as well. Okay, good shield. Wow, Rob is heavy. Rob is heavy. I don't think that was the sweet spot either, but yeah, this is very scary Woo! for Rob. Wow, got the spot dodge with the side B. That, that was smart. Yeah, not going to be doing it across the stage, which means BB gets to play a little bit longer with this. And Dill has to find her way off this ledge and giving the power geysers a wide berth. No thank you. Good down tilt setups, great grab, and this should be the stop. Yep. Great yep. smash. Recognizing that Vivi was going for that delay mash a lot, so Dill was able to just get that free that free up smash. And at like 130, 140, unless they're mashing like like gods, there's no way they're getting that again. Rising tackle is gonna do it. BB taking things 2-0 over Dill, going to be moving into winner's finals. 2-0, but it was definitely, like, close. We saw Dill, like, slowly, like, coming and, like, creeping back into the game, but mm -hmm. just not, like, unless he got one of those, you know, edge guards on Terry again, it was curtains, as we see. Great set from both players, of course, though. We saw a lot of uh, um, crack shoot going right through Rob's. Uh, Gyro and a great usage of the go meter on the first stock to take that second stock. That go meter and that this first stock was definitely the MVP of the game. Yeah, living to 182, taking out both of Dill's first stocks. Mm -hmm. That was great. And a nice little down tilt conversion. I feel like <laughs> that ro that down tilt helps Rob so much. It's, it's mm -hmm. so fast. It, it's a great burst option. You can chain them together. Like, what other character besides like Diddy Kong has like those I, down tilt I, chains? It's insane. All right, and it does look like we, yeah, we have VV versus Fawn coming in at okay. our winners finals. These are, you know, two. We're seeing a, a Waypoint Cafe uh, team kill coming in.